almost Christmas. Mm -hmm. All the elements of a great holiday film, the comedy, the ensemble cast, the heart, the soul, and the food. Yeah. <laughs> the food is almost its own character. But at its core, what do you want the audiences to walk away with? What is the message you want the audience? I think the message of this film is essentially is, it's about love and family. You know, it's about the you know family working your way through tribulations and turbulence, and everyone has their personal issues and interpersonal issues. But at the end of the day. You only have one family, so you, you know the holidays is a time to find your way to work through the problems and come back to love. Mm -hmm. You want to add? No, to yeah, ju just that love is enduring, and mm -hmm. love is is really the key. And and it started with, you know, Danny Glover's character and you know the mother's love. They had such a a beautiful love, and even in death, that love endures, and that and it's that love that brings them all back together mm -hmm. in the end. So just. You know, sometimes we get so jaded about love, and um, we kind of we kind of miss what it's all you know what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So the window scene, mm -hmm. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> how many takes did it 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 take for you to shoot it, and how did you make it through without busting up laughing every <laughs> single time? Uh, I'm trying to think of how many takes it did. Not that many. Not that many. It wasn't many. that many. Yeah, because I had to fall through the window. So right. I'm like, I'm, I'm real particular about you got You got about two times with me falling through this window, and I hope you get it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to move on. It's going to be a different scene. Um, but no, they, they captured it. And uh, it was, that was your first day. That was of, my first day. Yeah, yeah. on yeah. set. So that's a fine how do you do. So there you go. <laughs> right. And then Rachel. We yeah. meet her. She's snapping at the cab driver. Mm -hmm. She refuses your help. Clearly, she has a chip on her shoulder. Talk to me about Rachel. Rachel, this is her first time coming home, not only since her mother has passed away, but since she's gotten a divorce. And you know, as, as someone who's been in that position, the, first, the, the next time you're around your family, you're just waiting for somebody to say something slick, somebody to, to, to judge you, and, and you, you have this sense that everyone thinks you can't make it without that man. And so you're, you just want to lead with, yes, I can. I don't need any of you. And so she has on all this armor, you know, in, in, pre in preparation for dealing with her family at the holidays. And it starts from the moment you see her. And then tell me finally, I saw the movie in the theater last night, mm -hmm. diverse audience, cracking up the whole time through. Why do you think it's so relatable to a diverse group of, of people? Because everyone comes from family and, and you know, None of these things are specific. Everyone has an auntie such and such or a cousin such and such or, you know, these siblings don't get along because of this and that. And again, the holidays is that time when we all have to come together. There's some people in your family you only see on the holidays. So, you know, that's not a uh, uh, culture specific. That's just the human experience. And I think that David Talbot uh, constructed a brilliant story that, you know, you can live vicariously through one of these characters. And, and if you... If you don't find that character, that means it's probably you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, when you're watching the film. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm, they're giving me the signal. So oh. I got my questions answered. So thank, thank you. you. Thank I you.